Margaret, as a Fraggler and Taoiseach. Uh, Taoiseach, I welcome the measures you announced today regarding um, the housing, especially with a local authority uh, being empowered to buy more houses. But <coughs> in context of this, Cash uh, uh, and August and Fraggler, uh, look, we just can't keep pace. And I do also want to thank Minister of Alastard, uh, Dr. Schultz about Wren. He met me recently and, and went through some issues that were outstanding. And there are many issues outstanding and out there uh, in the public domain. And people have real issues and real concerns about how we are going to handle the inward immigration and indeed um, the two different separate issues, as I'm concerned, the Ukrainian uh, refugees from the war and our, our influx of uh, inward immigration. And I'm asking really about security at airports. And, I'm not knock him up and throw away the key merchant, but I'm just people are genuinely worried. I have questions I received back last year from and, and, uh, the Minister of Justice, and uh, they are worried about the people uh, that have come in without any documentation. I know I got some kind of answers that maybe they were they had false uh, documentation to escape some repressive regimes in our countries, and they got rid of that rather than have poor uh, documentation, maybe better have none. But really, the, 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 the question about how, uh, how, how have we effective border, border controls and at our airports and ports? Um, thanks very much, Deputies, for, for your questions. Um, uh, last week, or was I last week or the week before, uh, Minister Harris and I had a, a meeting with the uh, GNIB, the Guard and National Immigration Bureau, uh, and also the Border Management Unit of the Department of Justice, um, specifically to discuss some of the issues raised by Deputy McGrath, how we can um, improve our, our border security uh, and make sure that people uh, who shouldn't get into the state um, aren't able to get into the state. And we have a very close cooperation uh, with the United Kingdom authorities in relation to the common travel area. Um, and what they certainly said to me is that they've seen a big decrease in the number of people coming through the airport um, and then cl claiming international protection. And that is at least in part down to the fact that the Gardaí are stopping more people coming off the planes uh, to check their documents, which means that they can be kept on the plane if they don't uh, have documents. Uh, and also, um, uh, and also uh, they've been going out to airports in other parts of Europe where people often uh, fly into Ireland from. And as a result of that, that's helped to reduce significantly the number of people um, arriving in our airports and then um, claiming international protection without any documents and so on. And I want to thank the Gardaí in particular for their work uh, in that regard and also the airlines who have responsibility here as well not to allow people onto a plane uh, unless they have the right documents. Um, but they are now seeing, or they believe it's never possible to know for sure, um, an increase in people uh, coming from north to south, uh, people coming from Britain or Northern Ireland uh, into the Republic and uh, seeking international protection here. Um, and what we're not going to do is start doing uh, whole-scale uh, checks of people crossing the border from north to south for all sorts of reasons that I don't think I need to explain to the House, but it is, it is an issue. I think it's one of the ways we are going to have to cooperate much more closely um, uh, with the UK authorities to make sure that there are fewer irregular arrivals to Britain and Ireland because we form a common travel area and it's definitely something I want to discuss with Prime Minister Sunak uh, in the near future. Um, they also updated me on, on deportations, about 600 deportation orders issued in the last few months, um, and they are working on increasing the number of um, uh, deportations uh, to uh, countries of transit and countries of origin. And bear in mind, these are people who have applied for international protection and have been refused it because uh, they weren't entitled to it, essentially. Uh, their, their story didn't check out or didn't, uh, set, didn't meet the standard. Uh, that we set uh, for people to uh, get international protection. And one thing they pointed out to me very clearly is that um, even countries that do large numbers of deportations, it's very hard to make deportations happen. And you can only ever uh, do a certain number, but it does have a very important deterrent effect because if people believe that if they come to a country, uh, claim international protection um, and have no prospect of being deported, um, that that will increase the number of people who come here um, invalidly. And that's why it's important that we have deportations to send out that message to people uh, that if you need international protection, if you're a refugee, you're welcome here. We will provide you with protection, but also to be firm as well, uh, that if you're coming here with a false story, um, you're coming here uh, with, uh, on false pretenses, um, that uh, you won't be able to uh, 
through various different mechanisms, stay here for years and years and years so that you can acquire some form of status, uh, that, we, that we will issue deportation orders and we will affect those deportation orders. Um, we don't, don't have a cabinet committee on immigration. Um, it's dealt with either through the Ukraine uh, Humanitarian Committee or through social policy. I know the non-payment um, of a lot of hotels and accommodation providers is a big issue. Um, and certainly when we're asking them to renew their contracts, it doesn't help if we've left them in arrears and I acknowledge that that's a problem. Um, it is improving. Uh, additional staff have been provided to the Department of Children uh, and Integration to help with that and also they've outsourced some of their processes uh, to um, contractors which has helped a lot too. So I think we will see significant improvements um, in payments to hotels and other accommodation providers in the next few weeks and indeed it's improving already. Um, 